Hey Bonsai peeps, Mike Toy here, Bonsai Boise. It's March 16th, 2019, and it is a beautiful day as you can see. It's about 60 degrees, probably the nicest day we've had in definitely this year, probably since, I don't know, October or so. So everybody's outside doing stuff, and I'm no exception. So today, I'm gonna be working on my Shantung maple here. I've got a lot of videos already posted about this, and uh, today's gonna be I'm gonna be doing a lot of things. I'm gonna be doing an air layer on it right about here, I'm thinking. And then I'm also gonna repot it. I'll show you that pot here in a second. So stay tuned. Okay, so here it is. Another quick look here at the Shantung. Let's start at the bottom. I've had this tree for about Oh, going on probably 10 years now. I did some work here a month or two ago. I think I posted the video on this one where I did some carving. Still pretty rough, but it's looking better now than it was then. But uh, anyways, yeah, I got the tree about 10 years ago. It was just a little stick when I first got it. I think I have a picture. If so, I'm gonna post it right here. And since then, uh, this tree has seen a lot of action been planted in the ground twice at two different locations and uh, it is what you see now so there's the pot that it's gonna go into it's not a really good-looking pot to be honest with you but <laughs> to be honest it's just the size that I need and the shape that I need because I didn't want to go too shallow yet I still wanted to do some healthy growing so it's got some depth to it um, but it's also the right width. So it just happened to meet all the parameters I was looking for. It's like 12 bucks. Had my eye on it for months at, at the store. And today I just thought, okay, I'll, I'll get that one. So give you a quick look here. Just a ceramic clay pot here. Got some markings on it. You know, like I said, I'm not in love at all with the pot. It just happens to be the right size.
That's not my business.
So here it is. So that was quite a job. <laughs> the root ball under this thing, I, I remembered from the last time that I repotted, it was just this big gnarly ball. Uh, so I wasn't sure this time if I was gonna attack that or not. I didn't know if I was just gonna take a little bit off and kind of do it in chunks each year. But the more I looked at it and the more I thought about it, I realized if I attack it in phases like that, chances are each year it's just gonna recover and grow worse. So this year I, I just decided to go for it. So I am a bit nervous because it was a major surgery. Usually these things bounce back, but still, <laughs> this is my favorite tree after all. I know it looks ugly and awkward right now, but it does have great potential. Um, and now if it survives this, then, uh, then okay, a couple things actually. If it survives this <laughs> and the air layer works, then eventually um, I would give it maybe five or six years, let some of these things heal up, and then um, it'll be in really good shape. It'll look like a really nice bonsai. So uh, I'm gonna put some um, sealant on these spots where I did cuts and uh, I'm just gonna hope for the best now at this point. So thanks for watching. If, if you did get anything out of this, please do click like and subscribe and leave me some comments if you like on any experience that you have too.